It turns out that the 10 gallon I set up for the purpose of breeding Colombian Tetra has a leak. I retrieved this older tank which I know is leak proof and switched it with the one that is leaking it doesn't look as nice but it's leak proof the Colombian Tetra that I put in here to select breed well it's not really a selection it's just the seven that I happen to catch are still rather stressed out having been moved around so much yesterday I'm offering them some more Daphnia I put flake food in but they were not going for that but live foods are always a treat so I see that they're devouring these I like to remove the smallest one it might be a male or a female I'm not sure yet I can tell that the one in the center that just gobbled some Daphnia is definitely a male because you can see that it has a very long pointed dorsal fin so it's going to be a dominant male and well the ones that have short dorsal fins and rather a fuller body or probably female they might be beta males but in all likelihood when you have a small dorsal fin on this species and a rounded body it's a female with who's carrying eggs but the smallest one there's not really any point in keeping it in here whether it's a male or a female it's not gonna it's probably not going to breed but I want to get these fish a chance to settle down before I get in there and capture the smallest one to remove it six of these fish they're a couple inches long in a 10 gallon well it shouldn't create too big a bio load but it's kind of confined for them especially since they've been living in 120 gallon for most of their lives but hopefully after offering live foods and frozen foods they'll calm down and get used to this tank and begin exhibiting spawning behavior 